So if you inhale dust from your shelf with the with the no the 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 whiffer puffer what, what do you call that thing <laughs> yeah yeah the, swiffer the, puffer the, the, the <laughs> so if you so if there's dust and you inhale it yeah that's like household dust right which commonly is like pet dander and other things mm. um, yes if you get to the bottom of that ultimately those ingredients came from stars and from the origin of the universe so it's not an evolution of dust so much as dust taking on other shapes. So when I say we're made of stardust, the actual dust from stars has been processed here on Earth. Mm -hmm. But it's still the same ingredients, the nitrogen, oxygen, carbon. Right. And so if I were to be more sort of chemically accurate in my discussion of dust, uh, that changes the whole conversation. Hannah Holmes wrote The Secret Life of Dust, From the Cosmos to the Kitchen Table, great mm. title. A, a former science editor with the, I think, the L.A. Times. But anyhow, so so dust is it's everywhere, you know. Mm. Uh, but I, rather than look at dust and say, "Oh, this this is cat dander," and this is from sawdust, I, I as a as a cosmologist, mm. cosmetologist, <laughs> as an astrophysicist, it's all stardust yeah. to me.